Greetings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and I'm back with the Sunday Sampler. This week, we're going to be taking a quick look at Carried Away. This is an engineering puzzle game or bridge builder, depending on how you want to define this subgenre of the puzzle game. And I am recording this in the wee hours of December the 5th, 2017, with version V0B01.12, as you can see in the corner, which means, of course, this is an early access title, and as usual, this is also a review copy. So, carried away, this is technically a bridge builder, and there is a bridge building in it, like other games in this sort of little subgenre. But this is mostly about building ski lifts and jumps for, well, skiers. And it's an interesting take on things and really does a few things to shake things up. So let's just dive right into things. So there is a few options here. Unfortunately, there's not a proper full screen mode in this game. So I'm going to have to be very careful not to click out of this game. And that's irritating. Otherwise, things are pretty standard here. What's really interesting here is the gallery, though, because this game has a built-in recorder, which I'm not using, obviously, because it only records little clips. But it does a very good job of being able to share both your levels through the Steam Workshop and just little clips of you playing, like, let's say, this one. Oh, <laughs> came bugging out there a little bit. But you can see... People sharing their inventions, their designs, and how they play. And it does a good job of showing you just some of the craziness that could go on in this game. And it does have a built-in level editor for full level building. But I'm not going to really go into that because it is very robust. And I did spend enough time with it, mostly because it crashed. And I think it's just I was doing something odd with the terrain generation that it didn't like. And I didn't want to mess with it too much while I'm recording. So I didn't spend enough time with it. But it is a very robust based on just the workshop designs. Because you have some very basic ones, you know, like this. But then you start getting into some of the more advanced stuff where let's just subscribe to this, it downloads it, and then we dive right in without even after leaving. And this is completely custom made. I've never even seen this level before. I just grabbed it off the workshop just now. So this gives you an idea of what can be done because this is a, about the same quality, I would say, as the actual campaign. We'll just go, well, go back to the main menu. And I'll go into the actual campaign because it dives, it, 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 well, dive into the campaign because it goes into a few different modes. There's a skier control mode where you're building jumps and bridges as well as using a, a snowmobile with more plan for that in the future on the development roadmap. But also there's the actual building mode for ski lifts, uh, gondolas, and uh, drag lifts with possibly more uh, plan for that as well. So let's just pick a level that I haven't done yet. Uh, I don't think I've done Deadwood at all. So let's go to this and you can see pretty much the same quality of the workshop that we just saw, which is rather impressive. Workshop support is usually very spotty at times just because, it, yeah, it really depends on the strength of the editor and also, you know, how willing people are to put forth the effort. So this is the ski lift mode. I'll do one with the skier mode in a little bit. And you have, it's pretty traditional where you have ropes, which are great at uh, holding tension, but can't be compressed. The wheels, which are used for the actual ski lift, which you can see here. Logs and planks with more materials planned in the future as well. And it's pretty much just building up in doing your thing. This mode also has it where I could place one foundation and the foundations is where I could connect the planks and the logs to build my towers. So let's build a little something just to show you how easy it is. Uh, as I drag you, you can see the nodes lighting up. That means that building from this, I can connect directly to that to have a little bit of security. 
And let's just go ahead and place a wheel here. And the, what the wheel does is it allows me to bend this. So I could, uh, that probably won't clear because what I really dislike about this game, most of all, is that the chair lifts and the gondolas and well, the drag lifts and as well. It shows, for example, okay, I'm obviously not going to be able to do it with this because it's going to hit this tree, but it doesn't show just how much slack. As a matter of fact, I prepared a rather extreme example of this here over in Rockstar. And then we'll go back to that other level, finish that for, uh, you know, just to show off that mode, and then we'll do the ski mode. This is one that I prepared earlier. This shows the kind of weakness of this design. Or I should say with how this is, because you'd see, you know, this looks like it'll work, right? I mean, granted, be a little bit rickety because you, you expect a little bit of droop here, right? Because it's obviously a place for a, another tower here. But watch once I load the game. Look how extreme this is. Even without someone on it, it's already drooping pretty far. And look once the load is on it. Look how far that droops. That shows a lot more than what you would expect. <laughs> this uh, rope is very elastic and it makes things a lot more, I don't want to call it luck based because it's not quite that, but it's, yo, know, you don't know exactly what you're getting into. Matter of fact, this design's working a lot better this time around than it did in the past, which I'm not actually sure why, because last time, one person got through, or I should say before I recorded, just to setting this up to show you how uh, it doesn't show exactly where that rope's going to be. I, had, I only had one person that was getting through before. So now, depending on how they bounce, yeah, this actually works now before it was failing. I'm not sure why. That was a failing design before. I'm not sure if it's just because I'm recording and there's some sort of... <laughs> uh, the way it calculates the simulation is based off my CPU or if I just got a little lucky there. But yeah, that's actually surprising that that worked. So, yeah, but I was mostly wanting to show how the rip droops and how it's so different from this compared to that <laughs> i would love to see this actually show where the chairlift would actually be without load of course i mean i got showing full load that so uh, demanding a little much but showing the proper droop there would be nice so let's go back uh, where were we actually were we on deadwood yeah we were on deadwood so yeah that <laughs> i wasn't expecting that to work because I didn't before. I tested that. I set that up to fail. Uh, but, yeah, well. So let's put a, another wheel here and see if we could rise this up. Yeah, we're going to need something here. So we'll build out this level and then uh, do our thing. I'm not going to worry about getting the star. At least this time around because, well... It's not that important. So let's put that there. Put that there. Well, I'll connect those with a plank to save a little bit of money. Put that there. Actually, I could probably just do that with planks now. Planks are cheaper, they're shorter, but they aren't as strong. So there, there, and there a couple wheels on oh don't even need the second one most likely let's uh, just delete that see how that handles probably not going to do too well in fact let's do that to see if that does the tension i have no idea how this is going to work but like see right there it ended up going a direction that i wasn't planning on because I was expecting this to tension towards this. Matter of fact, let's slow things down. And I wanted to show something else. Is that... 
Oh, yeah, that slacks a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, one thing I noticed in the game, particularly on levels with the gondolas where they're heavier, is because of how the game loads in its physics, it could sometimes uh, cause a little bit more bouncing and because well because of that bouncing it causes things to break green that's not the flaw in this design at all it's just me not counting on forces it's breaking this for some reason so let's delete that actually let's keep that rope i can just tie it into the ground itself and let's uh see if i could hold that up like you see it, it's taking the tension there now, so we'll speed that up to full speed. There's a lot of compression on the, Wait, what's happening here? You can see how the bouncing uh, is making things not very stable. Like, right there. <laughs> Still got somebody through, though. I'm not sure what happened there. I didn't see. Now let's just watch again. And a lot of this is just trying. Yeah, why is he falling off? Is that just the... Yeah, that's the physics load that I was talking about. There's... a uh, Kerbal Space Program was actually having a similar problem with this. And there's a... Like, right now, it he, he didn't fall off. Maybe it's just because I'm slowing down to the simulation, so it's, yeah, just the pure luck of the draw. That doesn't bode well for how uh, things uh, work over, you know, the course of many iterations. Kerbal Space Program was having a similar problem to this, though. And there was a mod that allowed the uh, physics to slowly ease in. So perhaps something like that would... Uh, alleviate some of the bounce but part of that is just where the cable is so elastic as well so i think it's two small problems building upon one another that makes things a lot more unstable than what they really should be <laughs> okay so we have this load bearing thing uh not being too happy let's connect that Unfortunately, we go uh, over budget. Thankfully, this is a secondary uh, objective. So I don't have to worry too much about that. And which one of these was the one I put down? Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. And this is something I really like is that I'm able to freely adjust without having to completely rebuild. I'm not sure if this is something unique to this game I haven't played enough of this genre to really say for sure but it is a welcome thing to be able to just say uh maybe the, if this tower was a little wider and if we were putting the load directly on this front one I mean I didn't realize that we had a, a obstacle here so that's part of the problem but once again in this mode, it looks like I have plenty of clearance, so. It's just a, something that you could eventually get used to, but at the same time, it's irritant. So let's see if we can fix things. Well, first of all, let's see if, let's uh, load in and slow down the speed a little bit. See, like right there he's, Oh, no, he doesn't stay on. He died. But that one stays on because things kind of settle down. I'm just seeing... I'm mostly concerned about this tower first. And the thing... Yeah, see? Now it's okay because I've moved the load from this back to this front so you can see the pressure here. Um, I have the uh, overlay where it's showing the tension of everything. 
And I'm not really using this back rip at all, but it's good to be there nonetheless. So that actually works. We just need to raise this up a little bit more. So we'll put that there. I'm not worried about my budget at this point. Rethread things where that goes through. Now I'm a little concerned about this because that is a lot of pressure on planks, but we'll try it. Right. Yep. So that doesn't work. We'll try with a log. You can see now that that's good. And that should work. And then it's just uh, tweaking the design to improve because a lot of this uh, style of gameplay is iterations of what works, then what is efficient or what is quick or what is stylish in this case. Like right there. That is one level. And we could see uh, I came in 611th, just above par from the looks of things. And you can also see, well, assuming it loads, I've had some loading issue on the <laughs> leaderboard. Yeah, it's not wanting to do it. Oh, well. But uh, once they fix whatever issue this is, or it may just be, you know, uh, maintenance, I don't know. Uh, it The score attack aspect of this and seeing, okay, I was running about 90% at several points. Can I alleviate that stress? Can I get my score down? It is a driving force of this uh, genre. So it's definitely a... Uh, a reason to go back and play other levels. So let's go and take a look at a skier level that I haven't done, hopefully. Um, I have done that one. Looks like I actually did all the skier levels, unfortunately. Oh, no, there's this one. Okay. So this time we're not building a ski lift. We are trying to get this skier over to this place. And I'm not going to worry too much about finishing this level. I'm mostly wanting to show a couple things. For one, uh, in this mode, you're very limited, at least for the time being. There are talks about adding other things, but for now, it's very limited on what you can and can't build. Like, wait, this mode's actually very... It's very tough to be able to see what the hell I'm doing from all that smoke. There's something I wish it would change. Current. There, that ties in. Not building exceptionally well, but eh, that's hardly new. Okay, and let's see how that plays. That falls completely apart because of that support. Yeah, this is a severe weakness, is that... I can turn off the grid, by the way, just to fine-tune things. Is that I can't see due to uh, this uh, cottage. Okay, that... Well, it did hold up. But that does show uh, just how fragile the jumps are. Either these are made, uh, these supports are made out of, you know, something like pretzel sticks, you know, something that really shouldn't be built with, or the skiers are made out of depleted uranium. The jumps are highly fragile, and it is irritating as hell whenever you have a design that, okay, that looks pretty damn stable to me. 
but as soon as my skier gets on it okay that one actually worked oh well, until he face planted but yeah let's see if we could change things maybe if we lower I, uh, it's so hard to see with that uh, cabin I, I hadn't tried this level and the skier is controllable by the way so I can adjust them as he's uh, moving through the level but the thing is that in levels where there's multiple skiers that you have to take care of it's tough to really deal with because you're only controlling the one skier in, well, until he dies like that, but eh. uh, you're not putting down a marker for every skier behind you, for example. So if there were a, oh, didn't mean to do that. If there was a second skier behind this guy and I built a jump that required me to crouch down and then jump up. Well, the second skier will just continue along like this without any input from me whatsoever. Yes, I do have an option to go back, but usually these skiers are so close together that that's not really well feasible, to be perfectly honest. What I would love to see is at least a toggle where I could say, okay, everyone mimic what the skier did. So I go in and I'll lean forward a little bit and I crouch down to build up some speed to make myself a little bit more stable. But unfortunately, there's nothing to do that, at least, well, yet. And I think that's pretty much it for the ski mode. There is a snowmobile mode as well, which we could take a quick look-see at. I did finish this level. But it's pretty much the same basic idea, only it's powered. I'll just, where you lean uh, forward and back and you go up. Uh, this isn't a five-star level, but unfortunately the snowmobile is even heavier than the skier, so it makes it so that a jump you have to very carefully ege on to. I mean, you can just see the stress on this. <laughs> and there we go. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at that and just look how much that's bouncing. <laughs> Yeah, that just gives you an idea of how annoying the ski mode could be. I mean, maybe it's just a personal preference where I just really don't like it. And in the last patch before I record this video, they made this, uh, the jumps a lot more fragile. And I didn't play before that, but I do wonder what they were like before because, wow. <laughs> Maybe there has to be a happy medium, or maybe this is something that you know, isn't for me, which is very possible. Overall, I do like the game, though. Just because there, it throws enough variance that it doesn't get old, where, okay, here's forced bump. But this is a gondola level, so I have to deal with a lot heavier gondolas. Matter of fact, let's see if I can show you how the gondolas kind of behave. Oh, let me just grab that. Grab that. Put that there. And what I could also do is grab in the middle and pull up. To make it very quick to build. And also move entire sections. Like that, or... Look, it's dancing. <laughs> put a wheel there I'm not expecting this to succeed but I just want to see what it does oh. now you can see where the gondolas are going to load in and I imagine this is going to be bouncy as hell oh. or it just fails outright Okay, cross bracing. Very important. A 
let's actually do that for all these. That there, that there. And adjust it ever so slightly. I mean, granted, this camera is a little off center, and because the it, it's kind of odd how it renders things where it acts like it's on a 2D plane. Oh yeah, that's still loading in a lot of weight. Particularly because it's has three of these kind of just landing on it. So let's see if I could do some tension. Ooh. I doubt this is going to work, but I guess I'll try it. Yeah, all that weight. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably why these are here to begin with, is to kind of bear the brunt. You could see how quickly you could build up. Put a brace there. I mean, I'm not expecting this to hold, but it's a good test. Hmm. I do have to wonder about something. I didn't test this, but why happens if we wrap it around? <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. But you can see what I mean by how it looks a little odd. On the 2D plane, it looks fine, but on 3D, you know, it's off-centered. I'd love to see you know, this in the middle, but that's just a cosmetic thing, really. It just looks funny. But yeah, I think we are pretty much done, though, because there's not a lot more to say, and I'm not terribly worried about finishing this level. It's just, I'm trying to show how the weight kind of just drops things on this, because that is... A, well, for one, it's a lot of weight in general, because, well, gondolas are heavy to begin with, but... Because of how the physics loading works, it's potentially a bit more than you would expect. I just want to try one more thing, is do something like... this with some I'm fully expecting that second one to be used so I'm not worried about it oh, that is still taking all that weight not terribly concerned about it though because it's time to wrap things up. Overall, I do like the game. It's something that you have to toy with, though. But that's kind of the gist of this genre to begin with. Is that you need to mess around with things. You need to figure out, okay, does this work? Or why doesn't this work? And as it goes through early access and adds more uh, stuff to build with. And more stuff to toy around with. I think it's going to be worthwhile for fans of the genre. It just, there's some idiosyncrasies that you need to know about, particularly the loading and how the skier mode works. And that's why I covered those. But then again, yo, if I had nothing bad to say about the game, I obviously wasn't trying hard enough. So, as always, constructive feedback is greatly appreciated, either in the comments below or if you don't really have anything to say. But why well, let me know that you've enjoyed or hated this, hit the appropriate buttons and subscribe if you wish to see more of the Sunday Sampler or my other content. Let's actually... Oh. See, I've... Uh, I'm still getting this one to break. So, maybe if the thing wasn't swaying... Okay, I need to stop pouring around with this. Like I said, it, it is very compelling. And once again, we had breakages right there. 
So maybe tying the two uh, towers together would be a good idea and make a pseudo bridge to get over this hump. But that'll be something that I'll toy around with later. The constructive feedback is greatly appreciated, either in the comments below or if you don't really have anything to say but want to let me know that you've enjoyed or even hated this, hit the appropriate buttons and subscribe if you wish to see more of the Sunday Sampler or my other content. As always, thank you for watching and we'll most likely be back with something next week. We are getting into the holiday season, so releases are getting a little sporadic. We'll see what appears next time.